gala opening has been long awaited, October 31st, 2015. Today, the American University of Central Asia celebrates the beginning of its new life in its new campus. We at AUCA welcome everyone who has participated in the construction of this unique building. And of course, all those who love AUCA. US and Kyrgyz officials are gathered here to celebrate the opening of our new campus. Among them are US Secretary of State John Kerry and Kyrgyz Minister of Education Elmira Sariyeva. The opening of the campus was made possible through grants provided by George Soros and the Open Society Foundations, as well as generous donations from Erkin Beck, Dr. Hirsch Chadha, the United States of America, the Lactier family, the Contour Gold Company, and Matthew Nimitz. John Kerry gave a heartwarming speech after which the ribbon cutting ceremony commenced. The American University of Central Asia is the gold standard for teaching you students to think critically, to challenge the conventional wisdom, not to just be told something by a teacher, but to think about it and work it through your mind and challenge the teacher to substantiate the proposition that that teacher is giving you. That's real education. I am proud to say that my government has already provided more than $30 million to this university, including nearly $6 million in financing through the Overseas Private Investment Corporation, and I want you to know that support will continue. And the American University of Central Asia has provided thousands of students with a world-class education and the opportunity to go out and do that work. Your job is to make the most of that opportunity, and I can promise you that as you make that effort, the United States of America will be there as a friend every step of the way. Following the ribbon cutting, our president Andrew Wachtel delivered the final speech and the feast began. There was not a single person, guest or host, who was not radiating with satisfaction and thrill. I knew the campus was going to be good and we had all the plans and we saw all the pictures and we had all the drawings but it came out in real life even better than I thought it would. I hope our students are as inspired to come here every day as I am and I hope that the building encourages them to think big thoughts and open thoughts and try to do more than can be done because this building, there's no way this building could ever be built and I think everybody knows that. And the fact that we did build it shows that it can, and it shows that if you really want to do something and you try, you can sometimes make it happen. I am so proud, it's sort, of, sort of like someone who helped push the university forward to see it, that it has grown so much in the last five years and then into this exquisite space. The students are the reason that we're here. More than anything else, the students are why we are here. The, your capacity to develop, Ideas to change the world is what makes us so very, very proud. That's what we work for. This is the place where I feel I feel totally free, and that's awesome, and I love you here for that. I did meet both um, old friends and my professors, uh, but also I got to meet uh, new people. Uh, you know, you, you see them on, in different social networks, but you really don't have a chance to meet with them. So this was a great opportunity to meet uh, with a uh, very much leading AUCA alumni. The gala opening marks a turning point in AUCA's history. Congratulations to everyone who has been involved in creation of this unique and amazing building, a sustainable home for AUCA. All AUCA students are grateful and excited for this new and stunning and innovative building.